YouTube welcome to this video from Crystal Tut in this video we are going to learn how to update our drivers and download our missing drivers in an easy simple way so let's get started we'll go to Google type map config then we'll go to the first site then we will click start the detection here it will need a small software called maconfig.com it's from the site itself that will allow us to detect our messenger drivers from the computer when we click start detect the detection it will take us to another page to download first that software We'll click on our system. It will start the download in a second. Then start download. It's a 5.7 megabyte. We will install it as normal as a normal software. Then we will continue. Click yes. Then in a silent mode, click OK. So we'll double click on this icon here, then yes, it will start automatically the detection of our missing drivers or search for the drivers that are in the computer but in outdated, uh, outdated drivers. After that it will send us to another page where we can download our drivers. Now we click here on my drivers, then we go down, we'll find our drivers that we need to download or we need to update. We will go for example to the motherboard, we'll click download, it will take us to this site, toledriver.com. If you go to this site directly, you have to look for your driver yourself that means you will need to do, do to, to type or to search for your mark your serial number your a lot of stuff and this site maconfig.com helps you to directly find your software or your driver then you go down to this icon here download icon then we click on it Normally in this window you will find two types of links, a direct link to your manufacturer site or from trulydrivers.com. Then we click in here we, we there is only one, we will click on it. Ok, it will start the download. We'll wait on it a little bit and we'll be back in a second. Ok guys, after the download is complete, by the way I'm using uh, Internet Download Manager, it's a cheap software but if you don't have, if you don't want to buy it, you can just use the browser, it will download the software. Now we'll uh, talk about the type of files that we will get from that site, toolidrivers.com. There is two types of, there are two types of uh, software of uh, drivers. The first one is an executable uh, uh, file that you will install normally as any other software. The second one is um, a zip file. We will talk about it in a, in a second. So we'll double click on the driver. We will install it as any other software. Then next, you all know how to install a program or any software. Okay, while waiting for this uh, driver to install, we'll talk about the second type, which is a zip file. So when we get when we get the zip file, we will just extract it uh, in the desktop or any anywhere else. We will go to um, computer then 
mm, properties uh, right click properties then device manager device manager then we'll go to uh, the missing drivers or the driver that we went we want to update um, we'll go to any uh, driver that is missing then we'll right click update then we will choose browse from uh, my computer for driver software then we'll click browse and we'll look for that um, file that we've downloaded before then we'll click it uh, for example any any files will demand uh, a file uh, a folder oh, sorry a folder then we'll click just OK and then we will ask him to, uh, to search in that folder for files of the driver then next of course it will tell us here that it's already updated but in case You've downloaded that file from tulidrivers.com. You will install it. Uh, it will accept the the driver. Then everything is done. So here you have successfully updated the following product. Then we we'll click just finish, and here we go. We've uh, updated our drivers in an easy and simple way. That was all. Uh, that was all it for today, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, post them uh, down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Goodbye.